More questions tonight about a Colorado teen's mysterious murder. For the first time since Maggie Long's death, the public tonight was able to ask questions to investigators. And Denver 7th Liz Gillardi was at that meeting. Rumors and fear, that's what people in Park County have been hearing for a year now. But tonight the sheriff passed out these flyers asking for their help and letting them ask any question about this case. They have thought of everything so far in this case and they're working extremely hard. Ever since December 1st, 2017, so many questions have lingered. Park County residents showed up to this forum one day after learning Maggie Long was burned alive. Well, I knew Maggie for a long time. Kristen Barber worked with Maggie's family and knew her as a little girl. She's still trying to process all the new details, like the three suspects and vehicles the sheriff says they were driving. But she came tonight to clear up the rumors that have persisted for the past year. It was horrible, yeah. Not knowing what was going on. You hear one thing and then you hear another and then you don't know which is right and which is wrong. We asked the new sheriff what changed and why wasn't some of this information released earlier? Why was the public kept in the dark? A lot of the information was developed over, you know, over the period of the year, you know, through evidence, through interviews. Um, some people didn't come forward until very late. So it's just kind of, it happened that way. For Kristen, there's one question that remains. Well, I have a question I want to ask. I want to ask why, but that really can't be answered, so. And so far, two sketches have been released in this case. The sheriff said tonight he expects to release a third sketch sometime within the next week or two. And again, he's hoping by getting the community involved, it will help solve this case and help them figure out who killed Maggie Long. In Park County tonight, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.